responsible if we're going to be doing this in one way or another. Okay. Oh, let me see what other one. Okay. This line, it's like a folding when you fold your your T-shirt or whatever. You're going to find this a lot, and it could be down here in some way or some matter. It could be down here. But most of these lines, it could be lack of oxygenation to the brain. When I see these lines, it could be a person, because of the experience, that had a, had a heart attack or had some kind of uh, problem with their heads, like migraines and things like that. Uh, I had a doctor who didn't tell me he was a medical doctor. She was like 28 years old. And I saw this kind of syndrome or this kind of uh, signs in her, in her head. And I said, you had to be taking something for your, I mean, you're, you're a kid, you're 28 years old. Yeah, yeah I've been taking uh, medication for migraines for quite a while. So I gave him some alternative things so she could probably work mm-hmm. out. Uh, and uh, it did work. She was amazed too, and she took classes individually with me. Is it only on the top part? Or well, it's anywhere. Well, it could be anywhere, but if you're going to be the top part, is related with the head. Okay. I also had a. Tell me. <laughs> Repeat. Okay. Okay. Only on the back, and, and the, it's not only on the on the top part or the, that it's related with the head, it could be on the bottom part. But, but most of the time it's not having a good circulation, it's not having good, good oxygenation on the body, and you have to take care of it. Could that be uh, sleep apnea too? Excuse me? Sleep apnea when you stop breathing and you have to have that machine blowing? Yeah, it will happen. Okay. But what was the question you told me initially? Again, it was that uh, what did this was related with... Uh, yeah. Well, I was just curious if it only happens on the top part of the iris, but you said that it's... Only yeah, the yeah. She was asking if it was only on the top part of the iris, but it could happen on the other part of the body. Thank you. Yes, sir? Uh, yes, I have two questions. Um, when, when we're looking at the, the left and the right, um, I'm assuming that the client's left. Mm-hmm. Some people do. Uh, he's asking that if you take digital photography just to see the iris, and if it's the right or the left part. If you put that map in front of you, it's supposed to be the left eye that you see on your right side, the left uh, iris. And yes, there are people who have digital equipment. You can get that on on uh, internet, but most of the time it costs a three to five thousand dollars. I don't go in detail. I just go. I just try to go and see the, the main things, and then if they need more help. I do follow the rules that a lot of medical doctors do and a lot of scientists do. If you fix 20% of your organ, the other, uh, the, uh, the, the, the other 80 will help you to, to do the other 100%. Okay. Do you ever see a conflict between what the left and the right eye <clears throat> No, no, there's not a conflict. If... Uh, Thank you. Uh, he's asking if there's a conflict with one eye, iris and the other one. I do. Do you guys know how to do psychological tests or confirming just like you do sub, uh, the, the the suggestions? You know the. Okay, this is the same the same way. If I see a spot in the right eye or on the uh, on the left iris, I try to confirm that kind of symptom on the other eye. So I just, and if it shows on both eyes. Bam, I'll tell them, hey, you need to take care of this kind of business. Thank you. So, another question? Okay. The other one, uh, there's a couple of uh, more, and I just need to pace myself. Okay. Um, there's also, beside these kind, a line 
they could be a wibbling sign. Well, let's, just, let's go to Brown then. Okay? It could be a wibbling sign. That could be that wibbling sign that comes from that part of the organ is more related with nerve, with nerve related uh, action. Uh, if you see, and this is good for him now, therapist, and I have used it a lot from the pupil. If you see that some kind of, I don't know, have you seen it, Shirley? There's some, some white, uh, red light coming out of it. you never seen it? You're going to see it one of these days when you pay attention. Okay, thanks. Pay attention. That means that person is very nervous. It could be hysterical. So when I, I see that, I just be, try to be a little bit more careful and trying to, to, to speak with the person. You have to be careful anyhow, but... If you're doing like a regression or something like that, that person could probably get really pissed off easily. So uh, be aware about that. And I saw a couple of person like that doing, if you see the round part of the pupil, and then you see like it's flat in that end, that means that every organ that is around that spot or that area is having problems. So if you have a spot here, and you have this kind of uh, a sign, a symbol, you could, you, you could almost say you're, you're having a problem in that area. You know, it's like uh, you have two chances that you're right, really right about it. It's a confirmation of it. Now, really quickly, because, uh, and this is how you work. This is pupillal therapy, uh, iridology, and the white what I do with the white, for example, if there's some white veins coming to that direction, and I see this is happening, I can tell, you know, it's like a confirmation that this person really has a problem in that area. I always, I always try to blame it in their family tree, but, you know, it's, they're not taking care of their, their business. They're not, uh, uh, or not pooping enough, like my friend told me yesterday, or, Things like that, you know, a lot of oxygenation, a lot of water, a lot of things could be happening. So you got three tools there, and you always try to compare one iris with the other one. Doesn't matter. That's the rule. Of, that's rule. I also use other therapy like Chinese pulse, Chinese pulse reflexology, just to confirm. I always tell them to go to a doctor. You know, if they. You know, just to be sure that there's nothing critical going with them and try to take some supplements and vitamins. Um, ah, this is a very important one I, I forgot. You see some old peoples and new people around the street? You could probably see some kind of shadow, white shadow that comes around the top of the iris. It even goes around. It's part of the lymphatic system, but probably goes around. This is related with the cholesterol levels. And you could probably be sure that when it's white, uh, besides he could, he could probably have some ice problems, that it uh, has high cholesterol levels or in the borderline. And like I said, you also have to try to confirm this with the doctor. Yeah, so most of the time when I see this, People will tell me, no, I, I had my lab, and it's really on the borderline. But the more clear you have this zone or around the skin, the better you are. That means that the lymphatic is working really good properly. Uh, uh, most of the people I had that, I just gave them basic vitamin C so they could cleanse the body and, and, and oxygenate it in one way or another. So, you guys have any question? I just uh, and uh, yeah, another thing. Line the line around the iris. It's the line around the iris. If it's clear, and she's asking if the line around the iris. It if it's really clear, that means he has a good immune system, the lymphatic. But most of the time, when it's on the top or around, or the shadow comes in, the white part comes in, the iris they're having some conflict with the immune system. Okay? 
And the other one, you had another question? Yes, sir. What, do you have a good source that you would recommend on either on the internet or uh, written books to help somebody who is a non-medical person to learn about it? There's a lot of books you could uh, Yeah, he's asking if there's a good source to for the, in the internet. Uh, yes, there's the, the daughter of the guy that is on the map. She has an online courses. But there's a lot of books you could find around basic iridology. If you want to go really deep, you should go, I mean really deep, and you have the money, you could go directly online with her. And uh, and uh, besides this, thank you for the question, It's uh, there's also iris for cats, dogs, and, uh, and horses. It's very different. And you could you could just Google it in the image, and it will show on the on the Google page, whatever. Yes. How about the different colors? Sometimes they are like uh, specks of uh, yellow or green. Yeah. Uh, the question is uh, the different colors on the iris. Um, that doesn't really matter. What I'm looking is just for the signs, the the kind of signs that it could probably have problem in the organs. Uh, like she was saying, it could be a, a, a fleckle or something in the regitus. Uh, 